hey what's up guys uh thank you very much for being on electrica i really appreciate that uh now if you're new here my name is david i thank you for watching uh please don't forget to subscribe to like and share now this is a contactor uh before me and some push button is and uh we want to have a very simple self-holding circuit okay uh first of all with self-holding circuit uh you really need to be keen look at this contactor this might be different from the contactor that you're going to use okay uh, sometimes contactor uh, really differs uh, for example this co particular contactor I'm using right here uh, you're able to see that uh, it has got uh, one two three four five contacts okay so on these contacts is where you have the coil supply a1 and a2 okay so that means that you have four contacts here. Uh, three are main. Uh, three are main. One is uh, for the hold, and then the other one is for, you know, for for the coil. So you have to mark that. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, uh, you thought we can do some drawing because it really makes more sense explaining some of these things while you're doing some drawing okay now what we're gonna do is uh we are starting with a coil okay so so you have a coil here where you have your a1 and a2 okay where you have your a1 and the a2 so so a1 and a2 it means that uh, uh you're going to connect your contactor uh on you're going to supply the contactor on a uh, on a1 and a2 okay so to energize the contactor okay so uh let's connect our contactor here all right now so you have uh, your coil right here and it has a1 and a2 okay and then this is your contactor so when you put it in the supply okay this is what will happen okay all right so you've seen that now uh you can connect on this contactor anything maybe you want to control a bunch of lights okay and then uh because you can't use your normal switch so definitely you will use a contactor maybe you, you use a switch to control the contactor or you just simply plug it into the power like that okay but let us see uh let us see another way okay so what if we wanted to use this button is here uh then that means that we are going to do this okay uh, sorry about my marker uh, okay All right. So
so uh you have your l1 right there now this is how your circuit uh will be okay so you will have your circuit uh like that why so you have your stop button uh right there then you have your start button and then you have your coil down here okay and then uh, here you will have your supply okay okay so we can do that uh quick eh? Okay. okay now this is it okay now if you look at here critically you're going to see that this is our l1 the supply which is coming here and then if you look at this side the current will go through here come to connect to the normally open which is the push button then out here to the coil okay okay now uh, let's see the second one here now you see as i said earlier so this is how your circuit looks like you have your coil right here you have your start button right here and you have your stop button right here and your input current okay now if we press sorry now if we press in uh you're able to see that we have our current is hanging here and uh, this is stop this is start okay to the coil and this is the neutral so we are pushing this the contact engages and then it goes off okay so what do we do to fix that okay because now you're using a buttons okay and uh you can't hold so what do we do to fix that now sorry about my my uh, my marker so what we do uh is i'll show you from here you have to make uh a parallel connection that's the simplest way you can do self-holding you have to do a parallel connection on the start button okay and this is how you you're going to do that This is how you're going to do that. Uh, so this is our start button, okay? And this is how you're going to do it.
okay now this is how that stuff will look like okay so you you have your coil here okay and then you have your start right here and then the self holding okay the self holding right here and then you stop so now that means that your current hangs around here okay now the moment you press start uh, the coil will get energized okay but then the moment you release this one uh the current will get the a second path right here so the contactor will remain energized for that matter okay okay so we can uh, do that okay now basing on our connection right now here eh, how are we going to do that we need a parallel connection okay all right now we've already connected our stop okay so we need to connect our start of which it is right here so the only thing we need is to connect this you see back here how do we do that so now what we are gonna do is this this right here is a1 okay and then this is normally open so what you will do you get a wire like this one and this is what we are trying to do we are trying to connect this wire here it is this okay and then the same wire is connecting to a1 okay okay all right now this we have put one side okay because this wire has to pass through now we have already put this wire which is this one so it has gone through it is now right here now we need to get another wire from the contact this side okay okay now this wire is done okay now this wire is done which is this one okay now where do we need to put this wire is here okay we can put it here but again if we put it here we can't switch off the circuit so we'll have to put it this side okay okay now i think uh we are good uh we've already put this the holding circuit so let us supply our circuit and see what happens okay the switch okay now you see it holds it's now this wire now you see this wire here which had a person holding it gets the supply this side of uh, the other side of uh, the stop button so here okay but uh, the initial actuation is after you push this this button here you push it then it will connect okay it will energize the circuit all right yeah okay so that has been it as uh, simple as that okay it's as simple as that once you master uh, that simple circuit there uh, everything can be you know good okay it's it, it's the logic is only here make sure you have uh, make sure you have uh, uh, connected the parallel this contact here parallel to the uh, start button and then you're good to go so thank you very much for watching i appreciate that don't forget to subscribe to like and share if you're new here, my name is David. Until next time, I'm out.